Hi everybody, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, the captain and crew of the Celestial Journey has uh, some answers to behold as he uh, crashed into a cement dock in Turkey trying to uh, pull into port. We have a bunch of Shetland Islanders a little concerned over cyclists from cruise ships causing havoc with the traffic there. We have an unfortunate incident of three different people being stabbed coming off a party boat at the Army Cruise Terminal in Brooklyn. And a little bit of a funny story uh, from yesterday when somebody asked me a question and got an immediate answer and it wasn't from me. So the Celestial Journey was pulling into port in Kudasi, Turkey when uh, apparently they were pulling in just a little too fast. So fast in fact that the crew actually tried to drop anchor to slow the ship down and uh, it to still no avail, it still hit the cement dock on its way into port. Now luckily for everybody, nobody was hurt, no crew members, no passengers, nobody was injured in the incident, and the damage was not too severe to the dock or the cruise ship. They're gonna be able to continue on their way and, uh, but just goes to, to ask the question, if you're going so fast in the port that you had to drop anchor to try and slow down, how fast were you going? It might raise a little bit of concerns with the company wondering what was happening there because they're guided in by a pilot. They're, you know, <laughs> this stuff, speed coming into the cruise terminal should not be an issue, but maybe something got jammed. We've seen that happen before where the ship would not respond to reversing the engines or something along those lines. We'll have to sit and see and find out exactly what happened in the future. Next, we have some concerns in Shetland, uh, the Shetland Islands, over some of the cruise ships that drop there, like Aida. They will have bicycles on board and they offer bicycling tours around the area. And apparently some Islanders are now concerned that it's not so much that there's bicycles driving around in that, it's that they're going in such large groups now. Those are very, very narrow country roads and things like that. It's, it's hard to get around a group of people and not everybody is going to go single file. Some of them are about bunched up two and three and even though the people running the tours are trying to keep them far to the side of the road, they can extend out quite a bit into the road. However, people have been reporting that the groups are as lar long and as large as 50 cyclists in one tour, which makes it very hard to get around them and make it dangerous for them when it's these winding roads and that just trying to get around cyclists and it's holding up traffic. Now the area around there, the council and that is saying yes and no. It only happens a few times a year. Uh, most ships don't carry bicycles with them, but some of them do, but it'll only happen like 11 times a year. And then they started going to the cruise port authority and saying to them that, you know, to make sure that the bicyclists are handed out pamphlets on safe operation of vehicles and stuff like that in this area and how to be remain safe and not to go in such large groups maybe spread out and the port authority had to tell them hey we don't organize the groups those are the cruise ships that are organizing those groups we don't have anything to do with it so you need to contact the cruise lines and let them know like they do in orkney there is a very organized program there where they let the ships know who have bicycles and they're in discussions with them and they make them spread the tours out so they're not all grouped into one large group Apparently, they're just a little bit ahead of them than they were in, in this area on the Shetland Islands. So hopefully that gets resolved because that can be a very dangerous situation. Imagine you're pulling around people getting impatient with a big row of cyclists pulling around, coming around a cor corner and there's a truck there. Where are they going to go? Not towards the truck. They're going to go into the cruise cyclists. So uh, yeah, hopefully that gets solved in the future. 
Next, a very kind of a disturbing story. A party boat called the Cornucopia Majesty at the Army Terminal in Brooklyn was just letting out partiers about five o'clock in the afternoon and a really bad fight broke out amongst many of the guests on board not just a couple or one or two a, a lot of them started fighting outside some were trying to break up the fight some were issuing fights and apparently uh, a 32 year old gentleman was stabbed a 30 year old gentleman was stabbed a 28 year old had a bottle smashed on his face police reported rushing them to hospital with multiple stab wounds um it was caught on a lot of people's phones so i'm sure they'll find out who did this but it's hard to comprehend how such a big fight breaks out at five o'clock in the afternoon but it's a party boat and a tour boat and things like this tend to happen sometimes when alcohol and uh, hormones, shall we say, get into the mix, get into the mix on that. So I hope everyone is okay and I hope the person who <laughs> brought out the knife is found and prosecuted. But we'll see what happens in this story going forward. Just always be careful, no matter what kind of tour boat or boat you're on, always be aware of those surroundings right next i have a kind of a little bit of a comical story uh that happened to me yesterday but before i get there let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already if you want to keep up to date with everything going on in cruising from the cruise news to the cruise ships hitting cruise ports to the problems with cycling tours to the new ships coming online to the new up charges to the cheaper cruises whatever might be talking about in the cruise industry that might make your cruise just a little bit easier maybe just a little bit safer and a lot less stressful and i hope to do it in a little bit of an amusing way and keep you entertained doesn't cost a single thing but boy it sir helps the channel out when you hit that subscribe and the like button and leave comments i really do appreciate it okay I was, uh, as many of you know, um, apparently a couple Facebook pages have posted that I'm coming on this, on this cruise today on the Enchanted Princess. We're here at Princess Keys here today. And uh, yesterday I was just walking around and everything and I was ran into some of my fellow travel agents and we were just talking uh, around the piazza. And uh, I was asked the question, they said, so, so Don, have, have, have you been recognized yet on this ship? And I was about to answer the person, uh, and right behind me, a woman goes, Dawn! <laughs> In the loudest voice possible. <laughs> and, and, start, and runs up and gives me a big hug and everything like this. And then right after that, as she yelled, Dawn, three or four people behind her turned around and all came over at the same time and we had a really nice chat shook some hands introduced ourselves some of them were from uh, one was from new york one was from south carolina one was from up in alberta canada so it was really nice to meet all you guys yesterday and all at the same time it just the coincidence of the question was just hilarious to me and uh, after the after they all left and that the person turned to me and said okay that answers my question. <laughs> I, I do get recognized a lot on Princess, and like I said, never feel, uh, oh, I better not disturb him or don't want to talk to him. Come on up, say hi. I'm happy to say hi. You guys are the reason I get to do what I do, and I love talking to people and finding out their experiences on the cruise ships as well. And so, yeah, never feel never feel awkward to come and say hi i absolutely love meeting you guys on these ships but the question and the timing was absolutely perfect yesterday well i hope you appreciate this video if you did please give it a thumbs up want to see more tips more tricks more travel vlogs from around the world hit that subscribe button till next time have yourself a safe and a great vacation